Blue is back with some affordable new off-contract smartphones, this time around featuring a new design and better specs. So let's take a look at the Blue Studio X Plus here on Phone Dog and see what it's all about. Hey, what is up, Phone Dogs? Bo HD here, and the Blue Studio X Plus is Blue's new $149 off-contract smartphone that I'm just going to say it right now is probably going to be very tempting of an offer for a lot of you guys as it features a very nice design and some pretty solid specs really like a 5.5 inch HD IPS display, a 1.3 gigahertz quad core processor, an 8 megapixel camera sensor, 4G HSPA+, a micro SD card slot for expandable storage, and best of all it will be upgradable to Android 5.0 Lollipop. Now to get inside this box, all we have to do is simply slide off the top hand cover and we'll see the Blue Studio X Plus sitting right on top, wrapped up in some protective plastic. And it does feel pretty sturdy as I am setting it down to the side. I mean, it definitely has some weight to it and it doesn't feel cheap. But uh, we will take a closer look at this device in a moment. Because underneath of the Studio X Plus, we'll first find a blue user manual on top of a SIM card installation manual. Pretty simple stuff here. There's a micro USB charging cable used to charge the device included in here as well as some included earphones with mic and music playback support controls. There's also a US wall wart with USB port so you can plug in that included micro USB charging cable in here to assist with charging the X Plus. And then a battery which is a 2600 milliamp battery that we'll have to install later but it's also the same size as the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S6 which is a completely random and unrelated fact, but I thought that I would point that out. Below all of that is a protective case, which is always included with blue devices, and it's always nice to see. It looks like the back of the case has a matted plastic look to it, and the sides are clear, kind of has a nicer look than the completely clear cases usually shipped with blue devices. So that's pretty cool. And as if that weren't enough goodies in here, we also have a screen protector, which is also something we generally do find with blue devices. Now if we take a look at the Blue Studio X Plus and take it out of the plastic bag and pry off the plastic front cover, this device actually does look pretty darn good. I'm actually really impressed with just how sturdy it feels in the hand. There's a nice little metal frame around the entire device and the back is actually pretty grippy and it's definitely not slimy like the traditional cheap plastic phones that we see in this price range. There's a volume rocker on the left hand side, a power sleep on off button on the right hand side, a micro USB charging port and 3.5mm headphone jack located at the top of the device, and nothing on the bottom. Usually we see the opposite sort of arrangement, so that's a bit unusual. The front of the Studio X Plus is home to a 2 megapixel front facing camera sensor, the 5.5 inch HD IPS display, and really not much else since this guy does use software navigation buttons. The back is home to an 8 megapixel camera sensor and flash. There's a blue logo and speaker port at the bottom, but I just do really like how the back cover feels in the hand. It's just a million times better than slimy plastic, which I was kind of expecting to see here since this device doesn't really cost a whole lot. But it's also removable, so we can pop in the 2600 milliamp battery, and we will find slots for the micro SD card and SIM card. But upon powering up this device and updating all the apps and whatnot, it actually runs pretty well. And best of all is that it comes preloaded with the Google Now Launcher to kind of replicate that stock Android experience we all know and love. Everything besides the launcher is very stock Android-esque, the notification panel and the settings for example. The biggest downside I would say is that the Studio X Plus ships with Android 4.4 KitKat out of the box and not Android Lollipop, but it will be upgradable to Lollipop, we just have to wait a little bit longer. So with the looks of the software and the hardware and just the price tag, the $149, this will probably be a seriously tempting offer for anyone in the market for a sub $200 smartphone. I was told it's already on sale at Best Buy, so if you guys want to check out their listing, I will leave a link to do so down below the description bar. With that said, let me know what you guys think of this device in the comments and hit that thumbs up button if you guys enjoyed this video. I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. See ya.